Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today, and I am so excited because we are back with another video, and I'm going to give you a full tour of my Lego studio. So my Lego studio, as you may know, is located here in Toronto, Ontario. It's in a two-room office space and is my one-stop shop for all things Lego. From the studio, I have my Lego City, I display my Lego collection, I build Lego, I sell Lego, and I make Lego YouTube videos. It really is a one-stop shop space and I am so excited to be giving you this updated Lego room tour. Today, we're going to dive into all the different corners of my Lego room and give you a full in-depth tour. So. Let's get started. So I just came from the second room in the LEGO studio and I'm actually going to start this tour off here in the first room right near the entrance. You may recognize that part of the studio the most because that's where I do any of my LEGO City updates, any haul videos, collection updates, room tours, things like that. And then over here is actually where I have my main filming setup for any of my other more professional videos like Ask Bricks, Reviews, Speed Build, Mini Build Mondays, and things like that. This is actually also the entranceway to my studio. As you can see, I've got the main door to the office here. This is where I enter my studio. I have a couple different magnets and things like that, some takeout menus for when I'm around here because I don't obviously have a kitchen. So this is what the view first looks like when you walk in the door from my LEGO studio. I've got my YouTube sweater right here, I've got some lights, down here is actually some inventory for my Bricklink store, so sets to part out, sets that are already parted out and including more sets to part out. Over here is where I put a lot of the sets that I have that I want to make videos on. So I've got you know a giveaway going. I'm waiting for the winner to claim the giveaway prize from last time. A few more products here. These two shelves are normally a lot fuller than they normally are, but I've been filming a lot of videos. So I've also got some more sets on display. I've got the Iron Man art piece, the Iron Man head, and the Lego minions. So directly behind me here, you can barely see because of the lighting. This is my film setup. I don't want to move any of the lights or anything because they're set up perfectly for my filming style. I keep them all set up year round and that's what I love about it. I can just come into the studio and click a button to start filming. Everything's set up and ready to go. Here I've got my film cart of all my camera equipment. So as you can see, I've got my monitor so I can see myself on screen. Like I mentioned, mask, hand sanitizer, extra banner, clapperboard down here. I've got all my camera accessories and supplies I need for videos like batteries and things like that. And then down here are just things I use a lot less often like microphone boxes and things like that. There are so many wires in my studio because I have so many lights and cords and power outlets and tripods and things like that. Here is my main camera that I film a majority of my videos on, any reviews or, you know, ask brick videos and stuff like that. I've got the microphone always set up and ready to go, and I often switch between the lavalier microphone and the Rode microphone built onto the camera. I've got an extra tripod right here, which is the tripod I use for any down shots or anything that's a little bit out of the ordinary. This tripod actually is always set up, ready to go for this exact shot. So that's how every single week on Asperic, I'm able to get like the exact same camera angle because I do not move this tripod. I have it taped to the floor. Well, I do move it sometimes, but it's taped to the floor so I always know exactly where it goes. It's always at the exact same height. It never changes. So it's all set up and it's always ready to go. And it is set up right now to the built-in battery pack in the wall. So it never loses power. I never have to change the battery as well as the tablet which controls the video and the big monitor. So I actually keep my filming setup in a very tight space and I actually have to duck to get under the light to get over here to where I sit at my desk and do any of my main filming. These are my shelves of all some of my favorite sets, some of the sets that are most special to me. I've done a full video overview of each of these in the past, but I, of course, because it's, you know, this is a room tour, I want to quickly go through and show you some of the different shelves as well. Up here as well, you don't ever see this on video and that's why it is so messy, but I've just got a bunch of Lego storage containers, boxes, brick heads, things like that. A bunch of just really random things. This here is also an angle that you don't see very often because it's actually my infinity white wall over here. I've always got the lights set up and ready to go. They automatically turn on when I enter the room. And then as you can see, I've got the white seamless background here. I've got a couple sets that I've been working on building and making review videos on. And then underneath that is just a bunch of, you know, it's hard to see, but it's just a bunch of extra boxes and camera equipment. And as you can see, this is just a better overview of my filming setup. I've got the monitor. It is always ready to control the video and things like that. And then of course it's duplicated over here on this monitor. So you get to see some behind the scenes of filming this video. 
And then, like I said, directly across from my filming setup, I've got my Bricklink store. I've actually also already made a full tour of my Bricklink store, so I'll have to link that in the description of the cards or something like that. So it's mainly just a hallway here, but I've got everything I need to run the store. Over here is all the boxes of all the small parts. I've got all the bubble mailers and things for shipping. These are all the larger parts, all labeled. Down here, I've got parts to put away, poly bags, shipping supplies, more parts, more parts, and sets. Over here, this is my desk. This is the main area where I do all my Bricklink packing and things like that. I've got bags down here, shipping supplies here. I've got a garbage. This is the box where I always use to put all the packages that are ready to ship. This is all my shipping supplies. I've got my tray where I put the parts, my heat sealer, tape, business cards, and then a few posters, a few of my favorite posters right above that. So now that you've seen this side of the Lego room, starting off at the main office door here and I'm giving you a full overview of this side of the room, including my studio, my white backdrop, and my Brickley store. Now I'm gonna take you around and I'm gonna show you the other side of my studio. All right, so now on this side of the Lego room, like I already mentioned, this is where I do a majority of my building, my set collecting, my, you know, and displaying, as well as any city updates or vlog videos, because this is where I spend a majority of my time. This is the hallway where I actually just came from that separates the two rooms. Dividing up these two spaces is, of course, a bunch of sets. So first things first, I actually have a curtain rod with all of my t-shirts because I want to keep them unwrinkled, and I wear them so frequently in different videos, so I always keep them kind of out and ready to go. As you can see behind here, I've got a bunch of different sets already here, and then a bunch of different sets back here. This is my backlog, so these are ones that I still have yet to build and want to build. I don't plan on selling them. And then it's actually the same over here on the other wall as well. It's really reduced these last few years, but and a lot of them are pretty small sets. But I do have a couple occasional big sets and that I'm ready to build and I just haven't had the chance yet. But uh, you, you can see, for the most part, it is smaller sets, and I've got lots of poly bags and more poly bags to build for mini build Monday. Over here between the bookcases I've actually got some more camera equipment. This is equipment that I use less frequently and includes a couple extra tripods and a slider. I've actually got this additional storage container which has just got a bunch of random things in it including seasonal sets, any paperwork stickers or any fun stuff, minifigures, custom minifigures, a lot from Brick Loot, and then I've just got a bunch of products here. So these are random products that I've received over the years, some knockoff Lego minifigures, more random products and things that I've made videos on conventions, my favorite drawer, which is the fan mail, and then just any receipts or anything that I need to keep for the tax man. And then as you can see, I've got more sets on display here, and then my Ferris wheel, and the Vesta wind turbine. Over here on this side is actually one of the newest additions to my Lego room, and that is my new Lego bookcases. So if you've watched any of my recent Lego vlogs or anything like that for my Lego room here, you know that I just recently added four new Billy bookcases to my Lego room. I already had the existing four behind this camera here, but I still really felt the need to add more storage space to my Lego room, so just recently in October, I expanded it. I now have four bookshelves on this side of the room, four bookshelves behind me, and three over there. So with a total of 11 Billy bookcases, I've got a ton of room to be displaying my Lego collection. As you can see, I've got a couple different art pieces that were sent to me, or this one was actually a gift, but these ones were for videos. I've got boats up here, lots of Lego space, and then I've actually just been working on the rest of these shelves, trying to develop them a little bit more and get some sets on display. It's going pretty well so far, and then I need to do a lot with the lowers, but that's why I have so many extra shelves right there, which is really good. Over here on these shelves, I've got some miscellaneous city sets right here. Here is, I have some miscellaneous houses and stuff like that. They're not connected to the city even though they do look it. I've got my boat collection here with two different shells of Lego boats. And then up here I've added some more miscellaneous city stuff like the Lego stage, uh, the tractor trailer, and a couple limos. Underneath my bigger space shelf, I've got this space shelf here with the new Lego idea set and the Lunar Lander, which is awesome. I've got the Pirates of Barracuda Bay Lego set, which is not finished because Lego has not yet sent me the parts I need to finish that set. So I've got the instruction manual down here, as well as the train station. Over here, I've got some Lego Disney sets, which are, you know, my new brick, the buildable figures, which I love, as well as the Disney train. I've got some more, like, you know, sitcom sets or basically pop culture, I would maybe call it uh, the Lego Flintstones, 
the Big Bang Theory, the Lego Friends, and of course a couple Super Mario Bros sets. And then up here I've got some Lego Architecture sets. I hope to expand that very, very soon. This is just a uh, placeholder right now. I need to actually put sets here, but I've got a lot of Lego City sets here, uh, things for my city. And then here I've got all my collectible minifigures in their really nice glass display case, which I made a video on recently. The Empire State Building and a couple other miscellaneous builds and, you know, things for the birthday, Statue of Liberties and things like that. Located now directly behind me is the farthest wall from my Lego room from when you first enter. Over here is actually where I now keep my Lego City. This is something really new this year that I just actually put here when when I redid the Lego room. I really like the city in this location. I think it ties the room together quite nicely. I'm not gonna go too much into detail, obviously, in my Lego city. It's a huge part of my Lego room, and that's why it's kind of on the back counter. It spans the entire length of the room, which is really awesome. But if you wanna see what's in my Lego city, including the different sets, some of the work that I've done to the city, you will have to check that out in one of my most recent Lego city updates. And it's so busy behind the city. I've got posters, which are some of my favorite posters on display. Lots of lights, which are great. These are the Philips Hue bulbs, and I can change the colors uh, with a you know voice control. Over here, I've got a bunch of Lego minifigures on display. My one window, which is covered up, it's blacked out so I don't fade any Lego pieces and the Brick Lover 18 banner. Over here, I've got some snacks because I don't have a kitchen here. Sometimes I get hungry. Lego bags and poly bags. In this black bin, I've got a whole bunch of just sets that are, have been built, but I've torn down. Up here, I've just got some boxes. It's really ugly, but these are like pick a brick lids, Ziploc bags and instruction manuals. These two boxes are just full of instructions, my portable air conditioner, and here are more parts. So I've got Duplo there, Christmas, train, and vehicle parts. All of this, like you saw, is underneath my LEGO City, and my plan is when I go home, I have extra fabric back home, a studio backdrop actually, that I'm planning to completely cover this up. So my next LEGO room tour, it should look a lot prettier than how it looks right now, if I'm being honest. Directly across from the LEGO City, I've got my build tables. So I've got two tables right over here, I've got this one, one, which is the biggest one where I try and do a majority of my set buildings, work, and things like that. And then I've got this one that's a much narrower but really ties together in a room. This one is fully portable, as in I can slide it out of the way, really put it anywhere I want. If I'm going to build a speed build, sometimes I move it over here. If I want to film a haul video, I can turn it so I can have this as the background. It really is super portable and I can do a lot with it. This one is fixed in place because there's lots of bins underneath, but it's still perfect and there's lots of flexibility. I've got this shelf here of more set. As you can see, I've got some Lego architecture and some Lego creator. When you slide my table out of the way, first off, this is where I store my backpack when I'm in the Lego room, but I've also got a couple shelves here of vehicles and stuff like that that I don't normally have on display in my Lego room in like my Lego city. They take up a lot of space, so I put them there and try and make the most use of the spaces I can. I've got two chairs so I can always sit on any of the different sides of the build table, uh, so I don't have to move too many things around because when I start building, it gets really, really messy. And now here, kind of beyond the table and right behind I need this is where I store all of my Lego parts any Lego parts that I need for building mock sets anything at all are all stored here in between these Pappy Max containers, these storage containers, and a few more that are under the desk. The majority of my parts are in the Pappy Max storage containers, which I've raved about for years now. I'm so excited that I have them. They made a huge difference in my Lego collecting and my Lego hobby. So I've got all of them set up here on this wooden bench. Down here, as you can see, I've got a lot more of storage containers. So up here, these are all specifically labeled, and I've done lots of tours of these, but these are basically a majority of the parts. Here, I've got Lego plates a bunch of different random things like plates, Technic, wheels, and then these are all just Lego bricks on that side. And then above that all are all the Lego minifigure parts. So like legs and heads and hats and torsos. And then over here I've actually, because it's you know the Christmas season, I've been working on my Lego City Advent Calendar, which is a lot of fun. I've got my TV here, which I always watch YouTube videos or any like NCIS, Netflix, things like that. I've also got a couple more sets here, which you did already briefly see, including the Vespa wind turbine and the Ferris wheel, because I think they divide up the room quite nicely. And then you just see the back area of my backlog of sets. And then over here, I've actually got my minifigure storage, which I, I started working on a while ago, but then I remodeled the Lego room and haven't really come back to it. But all the accessories and the parts are kind of here and I don't use them as much. So that's why the TV sort of blocks them. And then finally, the last thing I want to mention is I've got a lot of bigger sets on top of the Pally Mac containers here as well. So like, the Disney castle, which looks so amazing up here at uh, the Ferris wheel, 
a couple other Disney, you know, Legoland sets, as well as the big Jurassic Park set. On the other side here, I also have more of my Lego bookcases. So these are the four original that were added to my Lego room to display a majority of my sets. And then this actually takes up the entire length of this wall. With this custom made bookcase, I've got the brick heads, which all look really cool there. I love them. I love the brick heads. Up here, I've got all of my Lego planes, and I've got some on display up there. Planes and helicopters are over here, and then I've also got my Christmas shelves, which you just saw a full tour of. I've got a bunch of Lego police, my corner gas. I've got two shelves here of books and magazines and stuff like that. I love reading Lego. Down on this shelf is just a bunch of miscellaneous city. Here I've got some Lego agents and power miners. Up here are the Lunar New Year sets, the most recent Chinese New Year ones. I've got Lego Movie and more Lego Movie up here. And then of course, another Christmas shelf. Over here is actually just kind of another miscellaneous shelf. I've got more, you know, Harry Potter ideas, uh, seasonal. Down here are some animals, and then this is going to be full of poly bags, which I build some more for Mini Build Monday. I've got all my Lego Scooby Doo sets right over here, and then a Lego movie set with some hidden side sets. Down here is all poly bags, so many poly bags here, mixels, things like that. A uh, lot more miscellaneous city right here with some trains, and then even more miscellaneous city right here. I need to get a few extra shells probably, like some Billy bookcases, because as you can see, there are just so many vehicles that don't need uh, nearly as much space. Over here, I've got some more Lego City. These are like Lego City Fire, and I've got some Forest Police and some Aqua back there, which I can now spread out. I've got my big light here, which is kind of in the way making this shot hard. But over here, I've got Lego Ninjago sets, Lego Ninjago movie sets, and then the three shelves of helicopters that I already showed you. Over here, again, more Philips Hue lights, and I've actually got any convention passes or anything that I've had for the last few years, any medals or anything like that all on display with some pins. Down here in this corner is really just miscellaneous. I've got Lego boxes that are broken down, a couple Lego sets full of like old vintage parts, my NCIS DVD collection. I have a bunch of collectible minifigures here that I don't have on the display case, and then just a bunch of random, you know, other miscellaneous sets as well. All right, so thanks everybody so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. I had a ton of fun giving you a tour of my Lego room. As you can probably see from the video, I am incredibly proud of this space. This is my first commercial space ever for my first ever business that I started myself. I had no idea when I started in 2012 that I'd ever end up in a fully dedicated studio office space in downtown Toronto for my operations. So it is just honestly, it's an honor to be here. I've had so many great memories, so many great more memories to come. And I'm so glad that I'm able to show you everything that I've been working on you know the last two years since I started in this space so thanks everybody so much for watching this video if you did enjoy please don't forget to leave a like comment and of course subscribe I'm looking forward to hearing what your favorite part of my Lego room is and you'll have to let me know down in the comments thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video